The domino effect, stress-related issues now account for 75 to 90 percent of doctor's visits each year. Wow. We got a little ghost, Maddie. <laughs> uh, hey. All right, so do you feel, um, I don't know, what, what were you going to say? We're going to talk about multitasking. Oh, and, yeah, sorry. So yeah, sorry. I read that stuff. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right, so today we're going to talk about multitasking. Do you multitask a lot? I try not to. But you feel like you do? Yes, I feel like the nature of my work in life mm -hmm. um, very easily slips into multitasking. Okay. Do you think I multitask? I don't no. feel like I do. No, you don't <laughs> multitask at all. I'm very singular focused. Yes, there can be chaos erupting around mm -hmm. you. And yeah. if you're doing something... I don't know how, but you don't even hear it. Okay, I see why you want to talk. Because when we want to, you wanted to talk about this, I'm like, I don't really feel like I multitask. So you don't. I don't. All right, but because I don't, you end up multitasking. Yeah, I didn't go into it thinking about it like that, but yeah. I guess so. Yeah. All right. So what are you doing throughout the day? That's multitasking. That's multitasking. Um. Well, I work from home a lot now, so and I don't have this was. We had talked about this. This was one of my biggest struggles when I started this new, um, like, career path. Mm -hmm. I don't have set schedules. Yeah. You know, there's, like, two or three days a week when I actually have to be somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, and the rest of it is kind of working on my own. So, for the first couple of years, trying to figure out how to manage that time mm -hmm. was really difficult because I was trying to do, like, everything all at once i wasn't good at prioritizing what needed to be done today versus mm -hmm. what could wait until tomorrow to me everything seemed important yeah in that moment so what have you used for tools that have helped you so far to help Sh with that should i bring out my book yeah bring it out my book this when you finished yes i finished <laughs> this book a long time ago this book was awesome that one the, the one, one thing. Tell us what it's one about. Thing. I didn't read, or no, I did read this one, but it's similar to stuff I've read in the past. So tell me yeah. about this one in particular. So this is really about helping you to just better manage your time. I read this last year, mm -hmm. last like New Year's. Um, and since then, I've completely reorganized how I structure my days. And their biggest thing, obviously, is every day figuring out what your one thing is mm -hmm. that you need to do. Yeah. And you do it first and you get it out of the way. Do you write it down? Do you put it anywhere? Or is it I write it brain? down. Where, you write down your one thing every day? Yeah. Oh, really? I don't it label it my one thing, but I write down my list of my planner every day. You do? Yeah. Oh. You never seen my planner? No. I've showed you my planner at the beginning of the week and it's empty. Yeah. And then by the end of the week, it looks like That's complete true. chaos. Well, you but write I do. down your one thing. Every day, I figure out what it is. Yeah, that's kind of like a little journal. It is a little bit, yeah. yeah. so journaling. Yeah. And there's a lot more to the book. Um, there's a lot of research that goes into it. There's research in here about multitasking and mm -hmm. why it doesn't work. Yep. Um, I just read you the one about how research says that... Um, estimates that workers are interrupted every 11 minutes. Yep. And then spend almost a third of their day catching up for those distractions. That's crazy. So whether that's phone calls or texts or emails or somebody, you know, if you work in an office, somebody walks into your office. There's yep. just constant interruptions. Yeah. And there's even one of the articles I wrote earlier on. It says that uh, average person is interrupted 15 times a day just by checking their email. Mm -hmm. And that um, they're interrupted 46 times a day to check their phone. Right? One of them, my stats. Is that a stat in there? Yeah. It is? Did I grab it from there? No. Uh, I said 11 minutes. 11 and then minutes. you just blew my statistics. No. Well, away. one of the ones that I'm going to talk about, or I wanted to bring up, is that there was a study, right, in yeah. multitasking, yeah. that when um, subjects were uh, tested on their IQ when multitasking, their IQ dropped 15 points. Yeah. Which brings them down to a, an eight-year-old child IQ yeah. when multitasking. Yeah. So the the moral of the story is just how important focusing on the one thing is. We yeah. are single we are single focused beings, right? And any time that we were alerted or stimulated by something, um, like way back in the day, it would be when there was danger, 
mm -hmm. right? Like if we saw a red apple or something like that, we'd be alerted to it and be like, oh, food, right? And our, our senses would heighten and we'd want to focus on that. And apple, 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 or lion, 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 lion. Like yeah. that's a lot for the brain to process. We're not really trained to process it like that. It is, and they talk in the book actually about that. They talk about... Um, what do they say about it? Um, that they had to be... That there's a difference between multitasking and task switching. Yes. And Big that... Difference. Yeah. And that the way that your brain um, like organizes and plans for that information is very different. Right? Yes. A task switch is very intentional, and mm -hmm. there's a reason for it yep. where multitasking is just more very unorganized yeah because the um, way the brain works is that it's supposed to have the attention drawn to it and then the algorithm or the problem solving is supposed to start and then yeah. go through that and end up finishing the project yep. and when we're multitasking we're never doing that you're not getting anything done and that was one of my um, biggest challenges was I felt like I was working 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 and I wasn't getting anything done and that I didn't have enough time to do everything that I needed to do when mm -hmm. in reality what I didn't have were the right strategies to organize that time efficiently so I you, had plenty of time what are the strategies besides your uh, morning uh, checklist or morning list that you make do you use is that the only thing that you use your paper list person that really helps you paper list Pen and paper oh paper list. list i thought you meant paper less i was paper like no list? i use no. yeah paper less. yeah paper every day it's, person. it's and the that's first all thing you use do. but that's the big thing um and i've recently because you dabble in this type of stuff you read about this type of stress multitasking planning type stuff a decent amount you're drawn to those type of books so yeah. what other stuff besides writing the stuff down have you found um i also use a um because now I'm doing more like longer term projects, I use a digital project board. Okay, cool. So and that, what's that on? Um, web based. It's a web. Well, it's web based, but it's a Google Chrome extension because then I can use it with all of my Google. Okay. I can add my Google stuff right to it. Cool. It's similar to we've talked about this. Yeah. Similar to the Trello that you use. Yeah. You just um, got to find something that works and that syncs across devices and stuff tends to help as well. And what's nice about something like that is. I can, because this is my other problem too, is I felt like I didn't have enough time and I was the only person responsible for all of these tasks. Mm -hmm. And so my planner is really like the things that I need to do that are just for me. Yeah. And then on my SWIT board, I can board, assign yeah. and I can delegate yeah. other tasks. So I know that they're being taken care of, but mm -hmm. they're not my responsibility. Yeah, that's smart. So I use two different email things. I use Gmail, which yeah. is all business. And then my personal iCloud mail for all my personal stuff. I, and I never let them, I never let them mix. Yeah. Right. And I try not to, I mean, they're in totally different apps, but early on with my career, I had to focus on a lot of single tasking because I found early on that if I was thinking about, it's not right to be treating a patient and be thinking about a previous patient that had come in. Yeah. Right. If someone had been a higher maintenance type of patient, they had more conditions going on. I can't carry that person's, I can't be thinking about what's wrong with that person, what I can do better while someone else is on the table. So early on, I tried to really make a point to learn a lot of this type of stuff. Yeah, you have to task switch. Task switch. Patient All right. switch. That was a good one this week. Yeah. Yeah, good job. We run out of time already. Did you have anything else to say? No. No? All right, cool. All right. All right. Nice.